Okay. Excuse me. I'm, you know, probably looking like whatever, whatever. But I'm in a place to where um, I have to speak about things as they're happening to in my mind. Because um, if not, I kind of move on to the next thing and really haven't delved or really went into real deep about what's going on and shared it with other people. So, um, saying that to say that I don't really care what, I'm going to turn this off for a minute because I don't want it to hinder what it is we, we're doing here. I was trying to make me some tea, but um, right now I was just thinking about how, about my sons. I was thinking about how amazing that I, I believe my sons, all three of my sons are and that they're really good people at the core like they're really good people they don't like seek to like hurt anybody like spiritually mentally you know like you know in in those particular areas i'm, I'm hesitating to say physical because <laughs> i don't know that if you don't do something to them or um that they might not do something back to you you know i'm not i'm not saying that um, but they're good people. They're just good people. Like they really are just good people. And so it made me think about too how that um, I'm glad that they are good people. And then I was thinking about how my family lineage, we come for, from <clears throat> teaching. We're teachers. And so being teachers, um, each one of us teaches in our own way. So, and our lives are usually the lessons that not only we give to ourselves, but that other people um, get as well. So, anyway, um, it made me think about that and how that, you know, on the outside, you know, externally looking, you know, at them from the outside, you may see some other things, something that you, the way that I'm speaking about them, that you might not have seen. But if you're close to them, you've seen it. You've, you've seen it. <clears throat> but anyway, um, just thinking about how amazing that they are and that they're genuinely good people and that um, also that they haven't done most of, of what other people have done. Um, like none of my kids went to college, you know what I mean? Um, so <laughs> most people say, well, you produce kids, none of them went to college. Well, college is important. Um, for some people and then for others is not important. It doesn't mean that um, the, the people who and if, Okay, so now we have maintenance out there doing something. I can't stop them, but hopefully, you know, you guys will really get what I'm saying and it won't, you know, distract from what it is that I'm trying to teach or share here. So anyway, um, none of them have gone to college. Um, and it's so funny. It's so funny. I just got something that when I was with their father, that was the thing that I wanted for them. I wanted them to go to college, you know. Um, but what happened is the thing that I did um, kind of deterred them from going to college. I didn't immediately go to college. I had children at a, at a young age. Um, but while I had children, you know, I did go to school. And so anyway, after... After coming to that particular conclusion, I can realize that I have, I myself have blazed a trail for them. And the trail that I went on is the trail that they went on, right? And that's usually how it is. So, <laughs> um, anyway, so I started thinking about that. And then I started thinking about, you know, um, things that most people miss in life. I don't know that they miss that. You know, um, sometimes I sit and I think within myself certain things that I didn't do, like I did miss not doing that. But um, had I known better, I would have done better. Anyway, so not going to school, though, is, is not one of those things. I think for me, it had been a thing where um, I, I might have originally felt like some shame for it because that's what everybody, you know, normally does. But we all have different paths. We really all do have different paths. And so it doesn't make, you know, one person kind of less than the other person because they didn't do that thing. The We'll find that if we looked in each other's lives, there's something major in each one of our lives that the other one didn't do that could be considered um, that person to be on a higher level than the other. Okay, so please understand that school is great. 
but then there's some some type of wisdom and 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 learning and understanding that you get that you didn't sit in class under the tutelage of you know some professor that you sat in the class of life you sat in the class of of um source of source energy of the universe and you've studied it and so you've gotten to be in a different space consciously so please also understand too that it doesn't make that person better it just makes them more knowledgeable so anyway um when i started thinking about that it really made me think about how that none of my sons are like you know um into like greek fraternities and things of that nature um I myself have not been in, into a Greek fraternity as well. When I was growing up, I was a Dell teen. Um, but, you know, that's not something that, you know, the road that I, t I took. And had I taken, you know, the road that most of my family took, I wouldn't be in this place that I'm in right now. You know, so anyway, life life is, is, is good for those people who break chains and habits um not good as far as you know because they have to go through a lot of stuff <laughs> they have to go through a lot of stuff a lot of tests a lot of being sacral the sacrificial lamb for other people that will come up that way and so um it, it can be very difficult but it's very rewarding it's very rewarding so you have to determine within yourself that if something is really worth it and if it's worth it to you don't stop keep going but anyway so when we started started thinking about um greek fraternities and you know maybe my children i don't know if they themselves feel like they missed out on some stuff um but then i started thinking about the stories that i've heard you know like now stories and not stories when you know when people are in college and the hazing that's not what i'm talking about after surviving all of those things and having a sisterhood or a brotherhood and i'm saying more so for the sisters than the brothers because they have their own set of issues but they're not who i'm talking about right now and the reason why um i think this subconsciously came up is because right now it is um founders day and i, I kind of want to say to some of those that are you know in fraternities and things of that nature that you guys have an amazing um job to do you really have an amazing job to do here it is you bring in a sisterhood um, or a brotherhood but you bring in a, a um a space for people to be able to um elevate and you guys have been doing such a great job with elevating people from a material, um, physical kind of standpoint, but not so much in the area of consciousness. Um, you know, they're very smart and intelligent for this physical existence, but what about the spiritual part that's within you? And I'm not talking about going to church or nothing like that. I ain't talking about that. When we talk about the spirit of a person, what happens is if, I'm in this, you know, amazing group of, of women or amazing group of men, and they're allowing me a space to be able to, you know, hey, um, I kind of got laid off for my job, and I go to this interview, and it happens to be, you know, the same soror sorority. So that gives me a leg up, and they, you know, help me out. I get the job, whatever. That's great. That's amazing, because now I get a new start. <clears throat> but there also has to be a piece of that when I need help mentally or consciously. Um, I need help that way. I'm, I'm really hurting, you know, from the inside out. I need to also be able to, to go to you. And I'm not saying that, um, you know, there aren't people within that, you know, that, that society or that group of people are that are not, um, you know, feeling that way that, you know, people that other people within there could come to them and things of that nature. But there's a lot of it where you, you guys can't come to each other. You can't come to each other as women. You can't come to each other about shit that's happening. So-and-so kicking your ass, you know, your husband doing whatever, you know, some type of feelings that you're having and you want to talk to somebody about it. And some of you guys are suffering in silence and you have a whole nation of sisterhoods or brotherhoods, but you guys can't talk to each other. You know, 
I think that we should, you know, in 2022, start something different to where we're actually, you know, helping people, helping people helping people i mean great about that job because that's going to help me be able to you know take care of my family and do what it is that i need to do but at the same time what about those other parts of me because once that's over it's over i got the job you know and i'm good enough and i can keep the job and you know have it for however many years that i want but at the same time if there's something going on with me can i really come to you and talk to you you know and we have to make ourselves safe spaces um, for other people to be able to do that. Um, and the way that you do that, you know, hopefully it's an exchange and we learn how to give each other back and forth to where when I myself need that, that you're able to give the very same thing to me. So we have to begin, um, building a culture, culture of that. We have to begin building a culture of that. So anyway, I'm going to get off cause I got something I got to do and I love you guys. Peace.